Hello everyone and welcome to Matt's Tech Tips, the email series about utilizing technology to be more efficient and productive in your ERA business. I want to thank everyone for subscribing and remind you that I would love feedback on the series. If you have comments, suggestions, or have a tip that you'd like to share, please give me a call or shoot me an email so that I can include it in future emails out. So in this first email, <clears throat> I wanted to bring up a simple tip that was discussed at the conference, and that is delaying your sent email messages. So there's many reasons why you would want to delay an email that you're sending out of Outlook and not send it immediately. You know, maybe you think of something late at night that you want to send out, but you don't want to be bothersome to the person that you're sending it to. Uh, or maybe you don't care about that and you want to send it out, but you don't want to be bothered with the responses at 10 o'clock at night and start a conversation. So you want to delay that till maybe the next day. Maybe you need to send something out that is more relevant on another particular day or time and you want to make sure that the person you're sending it to gets it at that most appropriate time. Or maybe you just want to delay everything that you're sending so that in case you forgot to add something to the email, you can go back before you send it out. I know that's happened to me several times. I'll compose an email and I'll click send and then I'll immediately remember that extra point that I wanted to make. But I've already sent it out, so I don't want to send a follow-up email at that point. So I will jump right into actually showing you guys how to do this in Outlook. And I want to remind everybody that I'm using Outlook 2016, the desktop software. If you're using previous versions of Outlook, like 2013 or 10, uh, maybe even 2007, this still works, um, but the option may be somewhere else in the menus. It may not look exactly like the version that I'm using. Um, and again, I'm using the desktop software, not the web app that I know a lot of people are using. So I'll first cover how to delay a single email message. So to do that, I want you to go to compose a new email message. And the new email pops up in the window. You're going to want to go to the options menu. And in that options menu, you should have a delay delivery option. So in that, you open that up and it brings up a dialog box. Now, these are other settings for emails that we're not really talking about right now. So go down here to the delivery options section of this. So you want to make sure that the do not deliver before checkbox is checked. And then you simply want to select when you want it delayed for the date and the actual time. So let's say I want to send this out tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. rather than sending it out immediately. So you set that. It's checked. You just want to close that. And I will just send this to personal email and just put a blank subject in there for now. So when I click send, it's not actually going to send it. What it's going to do is it's going to put it in your outbox and Outlook is going to sit on it and it's going to wait until it is actually the time that you have scheduled in the delay messages options. So the great thing about this is it gives you one, the option to delay emails so that they don't go out until they're most relevant. And two, it gives you the option to edit those emails after you've clicked send, but before e Outlook actually sends it. So if I wanted to edit this, I could just go into my outbox and open that email back up, and I could just add a sentence, change something, do whatever I want to do to the emails, even change who it's going to, who's copied on it, anything I want to change. And if you notice, if you go back to the options and delay delivery, that's now highlighted. And you can see that that's still set for tomorrow at 8 a.m. So now I just click send again. And again, it's not actually going to send it until the time that the delay is set for. So it's still going to be in the app box. So you can do this on single messages as much as you want. You just have to go into the options and delay it. Now the other use for delaying email messages would be if you wanted to delay everything that you send. And this is very helpful if you have a habit of clicking send a little bit too fast. You didn't attach something or there's another point you wanted to make, something along those lines. So for this, you could go and you could do a delay on every single email message, but that would get tedious and, and it's not really efficient. So for that sort of delay on every message, you're going to want to create a rule in Outlook. So to do that, you're going to be on your home page and you're going to go to the rules section. Manage rules and alerts. And I'm actually working offline, so that's not going to work. Let's take me back online. Okay, so click on the rules, manage rules and alerts. That's going to bring up a dialog box for all of your rules. And I'll probably cover rules more in depth in another topic and show you some of the other things that you can do with them. For now, let's talk about the delay. So we're going to create a new rule 
and you want a blank rule that applies to all messages that you send. So after you select that, you'll click next in the little wizard here. This first set of options is conditions. So if you didn't want it to apply to every single message that you send, this is where you'll apply a condition. Maybe you want to delay only messages that you send to a particular person, or only messages that you mark as important you want to delay, something like that. But for now, let's not check any of these, and that will apply to every single thing that I send. And Outlook warns you about this, just in case it's not what you want to do. So you want to click yes, and then under the actions, you want to, down here at the bottom, defer delivery by a number of minutes. So, what I have done in my personal email is set up a one minute delay. One to two minutes is probably good enough. You're probably not going to notice that when it's sitting in your app box for one to two minutes. Um, but it'll give you that option to, if you click send, 30 seconds, a minute later, you think, oh crap, I forgot this. You can go back in the app box, change it, and then send it, and it'll send just like you hadn't seen it before. So I don't really suggest doing any more. You can if you want to set it for five minutes, 10 minutes, give you more time to think about it. Um, but you know that could start actually affecting how you're sending out emails and you actually need to send something quickly and you've got a delay on it. You know, Five minutes actually could impact your business in some way. So one to two minutes is all I suggest doing. So let's defer to deliver about one minute. We'll click next and you can go through and you can put exceptions on it if you want, but we're just applying this to everything we send, so we'll leave none of those checked. Click on finish. You can apply a rule, a name to this rule, so we'll say one minute delay. We'll make sure the turn this rule on box is checked and click on finish. So this gives you this warning here that this rule only rules, but only runs on your email in Outlook. So again, this isn't going to work if you have multiple machines. It'll only work on the machine that you set this up on. If you have a laptop and a desktop, you set this rule up on your desktop, it's not going to know to do this rule on your laptop. So you're going to want to set those rules up everywhere you have the Outlook software. Uh, and it won't work on the Outlook web app online either. And it also won't work on your phone. So this is strictly in Outlook. So, you know, you got to make sure you remember that when you're sending things from your phone or from the web app or a browser or something like that. So click OK, apply the rules, and we're done. That's all there is to setting up delays on your email. So I want to remind everybody that I'm using the desktop and this only works in the desktop software. From what I know, there is no way to set it up in the Outlook web app. Uh, there are third-party services such as SaneBox or Boomerang. Um, I haven't used those services, so I can't attest to how well they work, um, but I do know that those are some third-party options for delaying emails and, and things like this. So I want to thank everybody. That's the end of the tip for this week. Um, if you have any questions or anything, give me a call, shoot me an email, and I'm always open to feedback. Thanks again.